Hey everybody, what's up? Pycenel68 here, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we came down here to the Presidium, spoke with Barlavon, learned that there is a Krogan mercenary uh, who's supposed to be going after Saren, uh, who's currently in talks with CSEC, and we also spoke with Shaira the Consort and found out more about her whole side quest. She wants us to speak with a Turian named Septimus. In this episode, that was a lot of explaining. I need to get better at that. <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing uh, just all of that. We're going to be heading down to CSEC and speaking with the Krogan Mercenary and seeing if we can't run into Septimus along the way. Let's see. Ward's locations. Hmm. Don't exactly have any directions to it. I know how to get there, but... Can you give us directions? My name is Avina, and I am pleased. I don't need a guide. Our records indicate this is your first time on the Citadel. I didn't want to get trapped in this text with her. Rip. Please allow me to do my job. I'll pass. I apologize if you found my service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Have a nice day. I do want to speak to Avina sometime because I know I haven't uh, gone over all of... I don't think I've ever gone over all of her dialogue, and I kind of want to do that for this series, but... Oh, okay, there's a sign right here telling us to C-Sec, so... This elevator leads down to C-Sec, the Alliance Dying Bay... Okay, cool. So we just go down this elevator. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Oh. Expanded human colonization insists that Eden Prime There's the prompt to skip the elevator, right? If you don't want to sit through these. Has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Do 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 do. All right, and here we are in CSEC. Oh, of course the music fades out. Threats and fists bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What did he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. The Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Alright, so we now have Erdnot Rex to add to our squad. I'm not going to be going over the party members too, too much in this game, unfortunately. 
um, mainly just because they rapid fire them at you at the start of this game. Uh, but for now, we're gonna have Ashley and Rex in our squad. To be fair, most of the squad members they um they represent the actual different classes that you can play as. So if you go back to part one and watch my class thing, you'll kind of get the idea. Ashley is supposed to be a um soldier, obviously. Caden is uh, uh what's Caden again? I'll put it up on screen because I can't think of the class names for Caden and Rex off the top of my head. Like, which classes they're supposed to represent, unfortunately. Anyways, yeah, I was being quiet when we first came down here because I really like the theme that plays here in CSEC. Got another keeper down here that we can access. Um, it's just one of my more favorite themes from this first game. Uh... So yeah, that's why I was being quiet, just to let it play out so you guys can listen to it. And then of course when I got too close to where I get cut off and changed to a different track. Let's see what's all going on up here though. are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have him. Uh. He's just a scientist. Shorbin. That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Alright, so it appears that Shorbin, the Salarian we spoke to last episode, is trying to kill his business partner Jaleed, allegedly. Need to go see what all that's about. If we run up here... Um... Yeah, I believe this is basically uh, air traffic control here on the Citadel. Um, there's not too much here other than... You can click on some of these terminals and get codex entries and XP. Oh, there's a weapons locker over here, though. Oh, never mind, just more codex entry stuff. I thought there was going to be something cool in it, but nope. Anyways, let's go and find Garrus. According to Rex, he left out of Seaside Academy and went to a nearby med clinic, uh, you know, regarding his investigation. So let's go see if we can't find that med clinic now, shall we? Exit to CSEC is right over here. And it's another elevator, if I'm not correct. Yep. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. <laughs> The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Alright. Let's head over here. <laughs> I don't have much to say regarding the, um, what are they called? Uh, 
those elevator news announcements. It just helps give you more uh, world building. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, <laughs> I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Yeah, I'm sure anyone would appreciate people who uphold the law. Like, I think that's a universal thing. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about the Speckers? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figured they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Mmm. Debatable. <laughs> Very debatable. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Alright, got some more uh, world building or lore regarding CSEC from Officer Lang there. Excuse me? Oh, they're just talking about a ship, not okay. Anyways, so the med clinic is actually right over here, if I'm correct. Yep, med clinic door. We've got a view of the nebula right across from it. These are pretty... well, there's these big chunks of steel blocking the windows, so not exactly good. Gonna have a keeper right here, and let's head into the med clinic, shall we? Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! A combat encounter. Been a while since we had one of these. Go ahead and just take them all out. You shoot this, um... Yeah, if you shoot that fire containment system back there, it affects them. That... Yep, that's everyone. At least according to Ashley. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. Not what I expect him to say. To think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. And I guess we're gonna hit him hard? We need Rex and Garrus with us. Nothing like a Krogan and an actual CSEC agent. Granted, I know Ashley and Caden are military, but... I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. 
Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Oh yeah, she's like an actual uh, vendor here. Uh, oh, it's just um, armor upgrades and stuff, yes, though. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, I actually meant it. Okay, didn't realize those options would go away. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. I see. Can use this station right here to replenish any meta gel that we've used, and that lasts for the entire game. Whenever you come here, you can replenish meta gel at that station. It's a bit out of the way, so you're probably never going to do it unless you're just passing the area, but it is nice when you do. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Interesting. <laughs> you have to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, uh -oh. Shepard. Word gets around. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Okay, if we find, if we happen to find anything in our investigation into Saren and Fist here, we can go back to Miss Wong there and give it to her, because she seems to be in need of it. Shouldn't say in need, that makes it sound like she's struggling, but you know what I mean. Poor guy just trying to return something. Don't know how legit it is, but Best place on this board to buy upgrades. They speak to expat here. I don't know why they call him that, because expat is just short for expatriate, so Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharaohs? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. An old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, that never sounds good. <laughs> Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Um, more stuff we can't do anything with except an Elcos Combine license. License again. We'll see what those, that stuff does later. Oh no. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. 
They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan? Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. All right, so we met a dude who's apparently a pretty big fan of us. It's not creepy at all. I know what it feels like to be a celebrity. Got Shorbin right over here. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, this is just Psy? <laughs> I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I'm not breaking regulations for you or your research. Return what you stole, or I'll have you arrested. All right. You don't need to ask twice. Well then, no more scanning. I promise. Of course, Jaleed still has the initial data, and I doubt he's planning to return it. I didn't mean to select that. Oh no. <laughs> I suggest you stick to research and leave the espionage to the rest of us. Well, I won't. Or I, I will. Stick to research, that is. Thank you. Goodbye. <sighs> okay. You do about the lying bullets? Let's go have a talk with our chubby friend. Um. When was that save made? 1821? That's the best that we're going to do. I'll see you guys back over here. I picked the completely wrong option during that. And I did not want to because that completely cancels the quest with the keepers. So see you guys back over here after I reload. Yourself, remember. Okay, we're back at this uh, point in the conversation. I want to pick all right. Oh, a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Okay, right, well, we're not going to have a chat right now because I'm busy, but uh, that. Got another shopkeeper right here. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? It's one that you can't particularly talk to. You can just say, I need supplies. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Got standard items and non-human armors. Got an Alanis Risk Control License. And a Metagel upgrade. Increases maximum units of Metagel by one. You definitely want those whenever you see them. In fact, as soon as I bought it, it turned to Meta Jail Upgrade 2. Can't buy it right now, unfortunately, because we're too poor. But maybe later. 
I'd say with that, as we go through here, this path will lead us to Korra's Den, where we can find Fist. We're going to take him down in the next episode. See you guys then. The, roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations.